children how are you today it's wonderful to have us all together for Sunday school today can you believe it January has almost ended today is the last Sunday in January we just started 2022 the first month is almost gone already but I'm looking forward to Sunday school today because we're going to remind ourselves about all the things we've learned in this month of January in Sunday school. Before we start, let's close our eyes and say a prayer. All hands together and all eyes closed. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day and thank you for bringing us to remind us about the things we've been learning about you and from you in this month of January. We pray that you help us to pay attention and that you remind us all about these things. But even more importantly, that you change our lives so that we'll be children who will do what you want. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Wow! It's good to have you here. You know what we are going to be doing today is this. We have a quiz. We have a quiz that asks about the different things that we have learned over the last three weeks in January. And this quiz, we have three rounds of our quiz. Round one asks us about the things that we did two weeks ago, no, three weeks ago. Round two is the next week, and round three is a round about last week, the lessons that we learned. So children, for this quiz, you are going to be your own score master or score mistress. So go and get a sheet of paper and a pencil or a pen and come and put it right beside you so that you can score the questions for yourself. I'm giving you 30 seconds. And whilst that, those 30 seconds are going on, we'll be listening to some music. So go bring it and come back. pencil or pen now. Great. Okay, so like I said, this quiz, there are three rounds of the quiz. There are ten questions in each round plus one bonus question. So ten questions and a bonus question. What does that add up to? Good. Eleven questions in each round. For each question you get right, you will give yourself 
three points. Three points. For each question you do not get right, you give yourself one point. Agreed? So three points for a correct answer, one point for an answer that is not correct. Ready? Okay. Round one is starting. So round one, question number one. What book tells the true story of the history of the universe? Do I hear any people saying something? Oh, God, I heard you. God's word, the Bible, that tells us the story of the history of the universe. Clap for yourself if you got that and put three points down for yourself. Great. Question two. We talked about some seven seas. What is the first sea in the seven? Super creation. Creation. When God created the whole universe. Good job. Three points if you got it right. One point if you did not get it right. Question number three. The second C tells out us about when something bad entered the world. The second C is a big word. I know some of us, we are three or four year old, saying it is difficult. Corruption. But corruption talks about something. It talks about sin. Now, what happened when sin came into the world? That's the question. What happened when sin came into the world? Did I hear Kofi say it? Kofi, right! Yes, when sin came into the world, God's perfect creation was destroyed. It was ruined. Good job if you got that correct as well. Now let's move on to question four. I hope you are writing your points down and adding them. We'll add them at the end. Now the third C is another big word. Ooh, catastrophe. How many letters is that? C A T A S T R O P H E. Eleven letters. Wow. Okay. So catastrophe, punishment. What did God do to punish the sin that was in the world? Who remembers what God did? You are right. He sent a flood. There was a big flood. That is the third seed, the catastrophe. Good job. Are we ready for number five? Yes. Question five. The fourth C is a shorter C word, but it's still a big word. Confusion. God did something to the language of the world to bring confusion. What did he do? Good job. He confused the language of the world. And that is the fourth C. Great. If you got that right as well, add another three points for yourself. Ready for the next question? Good. The fifth C talks about something wonderful God did to save you and me. He brought somebody to be our savior. Who did he bring? You're right, Christ. Christ is the fifth C. Because of Christ, you and I have a savior. Great. Remember to put your points down for this question. Next question, question seven. Wow, we are seven already. So why do people need a savior? What do we need to be saved from? You are correct, Amma. We need to be saved from sin. Remember the sin from the second C, the corruption. That is what we need to be saved from. Great. Put your points down for this one too. Now we are going to see number six. It's about something that Jesus did. 
so that you and I could be saved. Where did Jesus Christ die? Good, on the cross. Jesus died on the cross. And that's scene number six. And because of Jesus' death on the cross, you and I have a way to go to heaven because of Jesus' death. Great job. So now let's go to the seventh C for our question number nine. Another big C word. Consummation. What will happen at the consummation? Anyone knows what will happen? Wonderful. I see some people saying it. When the consummation occurs, God will make a new heaven and a new earth. There will be no more crying, no more sadness, no more death, no more pain, no more suffering. Everything will be made brand new at the consummation. Wonderful. And so you see, with these seven seas, the whole story of the history of the universe is told. Our final question for this round and then the bonus question. Our final question is this. What else did God make in addition to you? Ah, good. God made all things in addition to you and to me. God made all things. And so now our final bonus question is this. After all these things that we've learned, is there more than one true God? Is there? You are right. No. There is only one true God. Capital G-O-D. Our God is the one true God. Good job. If you got all of the questions right, I want you to give yourself 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. That's 11 threes, 33. If you got any wrong, you just add up the rest. You can let a big brother or sister help you. Okay? Okay. Okay, so now let's move to round two. More questions for us. Round two. It's on creation. So what did God create on the first day? For three points. Good. Light. And he created day and night. Great job. Now, question two about the second day of creation. Who remembers what God made on day two? Good, God made the sky above and the water below and the air that we breathe, day two. Good, three points if you got that right. One point if you did not get it right. Now I'll skip to day four. Who remembers what God made on day four? Yes, it's something that is in our memory verses. God made the sun, the moon, the stars, and the planets on day four. Great. Give yourself the points. Question four. What did God make on day six? Uh, good job. He made land. He made animals. And he made us. Human beings. You and I, people. Good, clap for yourself and give yourself the points. Question number five. How did God create everything in this universe? Did he throw something? What did he do? You're yeah, right. God just spoke. He just said the words and everything was created. Good. So the next question, number six, is asking, who made you? Good. God made you. God made me. Great. Now, next question. When we look at people and we look at animals, how are people created different from animals? Correct. For three points. People are created just like God in God's image. 
That's how we are different from animals. Now, question number eight. God loves people in a special way. He loves us so much that he sent someone to die for our sins. Who did God send to die for sinners? Jesus! You are right. Another three points for you. Question number nine. When we say God is omnipotent, what do I mean by that? This isn't the first time we are learning about the attributes of God. Omnipotent, what does it mean? Good, it means that God is all-powerful. When we sing, our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He's omnipotent, all-powerful. Good, three points. Question number 10 for this round. How long did it take God to create the whole universe? All these things we see. Six days. Good job. Six days he created everything. And now our bonus question. Why did God make you and me and all things? Why did he make us? Right. He made us for his glory. He made us for his glory and that alone. Great. So add up your points for this round as well. And we move to our final round. Are you ready for round three? We're almost at the end. Round three, question one. What book tells how God created everything? Great, the Bible tells us how God created everything. Now, in the Bible, what book in the Bible tells us about creation. What's the name of the book? Good, Genesis, another three points. Make sure you are putting your points down. Question three, how many mornings are there in one day? Hmm, did somebody say six? No, one morning in one day. Now to question four. So one morning, how about evenings? How many evenings are there in one day? You are right. One evening in one day as well. Question five. Already we are halfway. Wow. When the Bible says morning and evening on a day, how many days is the Bible talking about? Yes, that's also one day. So when it says morning and evening, night and day, it's one day we are talking about. This is a question that is from the previous round. A bonus question. How many days did God take to create everything? Ah, six days. You are still correct. Good. Now, I want to ask you about one of the creation days for question seven. On the third day, what did God create? You are right. He created dry land and plants. Good. Another creation day question for number eight. What did God create on day number four? That one is from my memory verse. Good. He created the sun, the moon, the stars, and the planets. Great. This was another bonus. Question nine. What did God put in plants so that they would grow more plants like themselves? He put something in the plants. Good, the seeds, so that when the seeds are planted, more plants will grow. Okay, so question number 10, children. We're almost at the end of our round. When we are talking about seeds and plants, and we say, according to their kind, what do we mean by that? Aha, uh -huh, you are right. It means that Every kind of seed from a plant will grow the same kind of plant. We cannot grow, put an orange seed in the ground and expect that we will end up with bananas. Is that possible? No. So God meant that every seed will produce its kind of plant. Excellent. Now the final question for this quiz is this. Who can say or sing the memory verse? Who can say it? 
Yes, some people are saying it. Good, let's all say it together. Psalm 8, verses 3 and 4. When I look at the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is the man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Psalm 8, verses 3 and 4. Amen. Great job, children. Well done. I want you to add up all your points and see how many points you made. And do you know something? If you got every single one of the questions correct, it means you have 99 points, almost 100. Just add one more for yourself and you have 100%. Clap for yourselves. Let's pray and then we'll have our final song. All eyes closed and let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for today and for reminding us about the things we've learned this month of January. We pray that you will be with us and help us remember that you love us, that you love this world, that even when there was sin and there was catastrophe, you brought Christ and the cross. Please be with us this week and always in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching Life Tree Kids. Simple.